Our Picasso app here is behaving really well and uh, we are pretty much done. There's a few things, of course, that we I would like to do before we go. And also, by the way, I would like you, <laughs> I'd like you to take this app and make it your own, meaning that you can uh, add a few things. You, as I said earlier, uh, maybe you can go ahead and make sure that you can actually uh, create another view so that when they save the image, they can actually also be able to click let's say this button here, this menu button, and they can go to a new view or new activity where they can actually see that, that image they have just saved. That's a challenge that I would like you to go through and try to figure out to do that. It's not gonna be easy, but it's a good exercise and I'm very confident that you can do. And also remember, there is already the code that I created for you, right? Uh, that will allow you to fetch the saved image okay but i would like you to go and do it yourself and you're going to run into issues that's all intentional um what i want you to do is to learn how to find solutions to this problem to the issues that it will find to retrieve the images and so forth i've already given you this method here that you can uh, use to fetch the image that was saved okay all right, let's go back here. So what I'm gonna do, how about changing maybe the branding a little bit? How about this bar here, change the color to something else? Well, what to do, we go to our values, colors, and I'm gonna click here, maybe change this color to something like that. This color also to something closer to that. I'm gonna save, give it a run see if that's going to change all right very nice I like this much better right just a little change in color then everything looks way way better very cool so again we can keep going and draw something here if we want of course we can go and change the width of our brush and this works if we want to change the color this still works Ah, I can change the alpha value. Look at this, very exciting. Let's put it all the way, and how about change there, say okay, and you can see the colors are indeed changing. Very cool, very, very nice indeed. All right, now I notice also the default color is green. That's because we changed that when we were testing things out. Let's go back to Picasso view and perhaps change that. Let's go to draw in fact init and instead of green I think we can go we can just change this to black for now that's fine obviously you can change to whatever color you want that's okay and the stroke instead of being this big I'm gonna go ahead and say five for now so it starts small And one thing that I noticed we forgot to do here, I'm gonna set a width seek bar, progress at progress. I'm gonna go ahead and say Picasso dot get line width like that. So what this will do, it will just give a default width that we need for our white seek bar. Okay, so save this and give it a run. We start writing there we go if we go to width see there we go there is indeed that width that we start with okay that's just a small thing but at least it helps users know that this is happening like this and you notice the width is going to change as well okay so i think we are pretty much done with our application here it's a full-fledged app that again you can take and make it your own which in fact i suggest you do figure out other things you want or you can do with this app and make it look really good okay add a few other things and just play with this concept guys this is very important and this is indeed what you should always do all right congratulations if you got to this point thank you so much for for being here, I really, really appreciate your hard work and I'll see you in the next video.